welcome back everyone in this quick video i'm gonna let you know the fastest ways to unlock another new weapon for battlefield 1 and this time it's the broken bottle melee weapon this is one of the new melee weapons added for the apocalypse dlc so first i'm going to go over what you need to do to unlock this thing and of course you need to have the apocalypse dlc before you can even start doing any of this to unlock this crude broken bottle you will need to secure five kills with the wine bottle melee weapon that can be found on these apocalypse dlc maps in this quick video i've got some awesome tips to help you get through the small but tedious grind to unlock this thing you will definitely want to stick around to the end of the video because after the tips i will tell you where the wine bottle locations are on each and every new map to help increase your chances of getting your hands on it before anyone else can some of the wine bottle locations have changed since the CTE, so stay tuned to find out the important new and now current locations. Without further ado, let's jump into what you came here for. There are five important things you need to know when using the wine bottle to accumulate those five kills. The wine bottles themselves might not look as lethal as they are, but make no mistake about it, they do 100% damage to an enemy upon striking. That's 100% in the front, side, or rear. Just be sure to get up close and personal with the enemy before they can react. You do not need to get up behind the enemy to perform a lethal takedown. That's not necessary. The wine bottles will disappear from your inventory if you attempt to get into vehicles, switch weapons, pick up elite kits, or pick up infantry kits on the ground. So in other words, don't do that. For further, once you strike the enemy, the wine bottle will also disappear, so knowing the additional wine bottle locations on each map will be pretty helpful for you guys and I'm going to share those with you momentarily. You can throw grenades while the wine bottle is equipped so I highly recommend using smoke grenades to conceal yourself from enemy fire. Being able to emerge from the smoke and crack an unsuspecting enemy over the head can be a rewarding opportunity. Stealth is key when attempting to secure the wine bottle kills. Players who have the inconspicuous specializations will get a better chance at stealth so equip that perk if it's available to you. If you hear enemy scout flares know your position might be compromised stealth is key when carrying this bottle you are extremely vulnerable with no distance weapons so maintain cover as much as possible if you have to move make sure to do so via trenches or in buildings you never want to find yourself running out in the open with this thing the best angles of attack can be had by maintaining cover until the enemy is close enough for the bottle's reach now at the end of the video let's jump into the most important part of all where you can find every single wine bottle the locations I will share here are for Conquest, since being a larger game mode with capture points spread over a larger area, Conquest gives the best opportunity for flanking the enemy and bringing them a bottle of pain. The three new maps the wine bottle appears on are the River Psalm, Passchendaele, and Caporetto. On the map River Psalm, the battle can be found in three locations. At the Charlie flag on the floor, inside the house, in the corner on the floor that faces away from Alpha, at the Echo flag on the ground at the foot of the heavy machinery, and at the Bravo flag it can be found inside the windmill on the first floor at the back of the stairs. It's easy to overlook that spot since it can get pretty dark back there. On the map Passchendaele, the bottle can be found in the following locations. On the table in the trench line just east of the Echo Flag. On the floor of the broken bunker at the edge of the map near Delta Flag. And at the Bravo Flag in the trench adjacent to the bunker. On the map Capretto, the bottle can be found at the Charlie Flag at the south end of the bridge. It blends in with the bridge structure itself so it can be easy to miss this one. It can be found at the Delta Flag in close proximity to the flagpole itself and there are two spots at the Bravo Flag. The first spot being at the foot of the statue and the second being in the southwest direction from the flag in front of a bench. Now that you have tips in hand and know the locations to find the wine bottle, best of luck unlocking the broken bottle melee weapon. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and share this video with your friends who might be having trouble finding all of the wine bottle locations and unlocking the broken bottle melee weapon. Thanks for watching. We're on the road to 7,000 subscribers. Well, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any new content I have for you guys. It's your boy Rumspanker, and until next time, I'm out of here.